And now, I'm just gonna go turn the key and do each cylinder and then record what it is and I'll get right back to you. All right, first one showing about 105. I'll do the rest. All right, pulled her back inside. I did all six cylinders. And what you want is the compression each cylinder to be within 10%. I think all of them be within 10% of each other. <laughs> and I think we found the problem. So here's what I wrote down. Starting on the left side, got 107, 107, 108. Looking beautiful. Went to the right side, zero, zero, and zero. Now, like I said, I'm no boat mechanic, but that ain't good. So I'm thinking, what could be a common denominator between all three having zero compression? And one thing comes to mind is the head gasket, because uh, this whole thing covers this whole side. Although it looks like it's in good shape, I'm going to pull it off, and then we can take a good look at the head gasket, and we can tell if that could have been a cause, and then we can get a good look at all three cylinders too to see if there's any damage in there. I took the endoscope in there again and looked around and I don't see anything obvious other than these ones being a little bit dirtier than the other side. Uh, could be bad pistons, bad rings, but uh, from what I can see with the endoscope they, they look like they're in okay uh, shape. So let's start by unbolting the head on this side and taking a look inside. All right, just taking a quick look at the gasket. See a little light on it. Gasket looks good. I got a couple marks there for I was trying to pry it open earlier, but doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the gasket. All right, this is the bottom cylinder, and if we can get the light in there, there it is. I do see some scraping on the side right there, so there's there's some bad uh, piston in there, some bad rings or something. Should not be scraping like that. Right, looking at the top cylinder now, I can see some scraping on the top one also. And I can actually feel it. When I run my uh, finger in there, I can actually feel the ridges through my glove even, so... Time to uh, take apart the power head, I think, and rebore all the cylinders and maybe buy a whole rebuild kit. Comes with, you know, pistons, rings, bearings, all that stuff. So, I uh, think we'll do it. Make a whole new motor out of it. All right, pop right out right here. Slides nice and easy. There we go. First piston is out. Oh, uh, just let me see. Okay, this is the good side. The other side we had problems with, so I'm not expecting any issues with this. And just a quick look. Now, slide number five out. Slides nice and easy. All right, first look at the piston. Those bearings seem fine. It all comes down to, see that little scoring on the walls? Right there, something going on there. I don't know why. Well, this piston ring, this piston ring is pushed all the way in and it's sticking out on this side, piston number five. Definitely had a, like a stuck ring here or something. Yeah, something's definitely going on with this one. All right, number three, let's see what you're up to. Yep, same deal. The, the rings are stuck against the side. See, they're sticking, sticking out on this side, completely flat against this side, and uh, the piston edge is scored up. And once again, same thing. All the scoring right here, and the rings are stuck down. They're sticking way out on this side. And they're completely flush on this side. So now that I got this whole engine apart, it's pretty clear why we had zero compression. Let's take a closer look at these pistons. So 
you can notice right off the bat, see this piston rings, they're stuck on this side. You can see they all scraped right over it, you almost can't see them anymore. Turn it over, they're sticking out on this side, and they are, they are stuck, they do not move. So one of the, probably the main causes of low compression is you can get a stuck piston ring like this. And you can see it did the same thing on the other two cylinders that have zero compression, they have the same exact thing going on. Stuck to one side, and you got some scoring along here where it scored the cylinder wall too. So a lot of blow by right there. And here's an example of one that was good. You see the rings move freely. No problem there. There's no major scraping on the side walls. So this one was good. This one had like 108 psi when we tested it. So good bad. Now if all your cylinders are good at all except one, it's a possibility you just have a stuck ring in there and I've seen some people use some spray lubricant like this deep creek, uh, deep <laughs> creep here. Uh, spray it all in there, take out the spark plug, spray it in, saturate it well, let it sit overnight and then try it again and you know it may have freed those rings up. Or you could just have just worn cylinders, especially if they're all kind of low after time. They just get worn down and it may be time to, you know, put some new rings in and uh, rebuild your motor. Mine was interesting because it was all three on the starboard side were bad and all three on the port side were good. So um, when I talk about the crankshaft, I think I may see the problem here. So you also have these rings on the crankshaft here. And when I pulled mine out, one of them was broken. And this top one here is just kind of rusted in. It doesn't move at all. And the top bearing here is in pretty bad shape. It's just solid uh, rust and just doesn't move. So I don't know if that caused this whole crankshaft to wobble a little and uh, knock these off center. Not really sure. But I suspect that might have a, something to do with all this. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm in the process of doing a complete rebuild of this Mercury 135 motor. Even though I am not technically qualified to do it, I'm just doing it anyway. And so far, it's going pretty good. Let me show you where we're at right now. So this is currently the motor. We got it all in pieces, all the pistons out, crankshaft, and it's disassembled about as much as you can disassemble it. I just brought the engine block into a machine shop, so they are going to hone it, or board out, hone it, and get a whole new piston kit and seals and everything for it. So... They said that's going to take about four weeks, so when that comes back, we're going to start putting this thing back together. Once this is completely done and rebuilt and hopefully working again, I'm going to put out a video that shows from start to finish the whole rebuild process. But in the meantime, if you want to see what I've done so far, there is a playlist right here that shows um, everything I've done with this motor and project boat so far. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.